Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about inserts in the chapbook story format. Chapbook is one of a number of different built-in story formats that can be accessed when in the passages view, going to the story menu, change story format, and selecting the story format to use. This video will discuss chapbook and so I have selected chapbook. As of this recording, the current version is 1.0.0. In this video, I'm going to talk about inserts. Inserts are a concept within Chatbook for things which insert stuff. Mostly we would deal with text within Twine, so inserts also deal with text in some way. They allow us to insert things. So if we're dealing with text, two different inserts that currently exist within Chatbook are embed and link. They sort of do what their names imply. So let's look at some code here. If I pull up this untitled passage, we see two examples of inserts. The first of which, as I mentioned, is embed. Embed, as its name kind of implies, embeds something. In this case, I want to embed passage. Which passage do I want to embed? I tell it in quotation marks exactly what I want, which is another passage, the name of another passage within this story. So, notice, just like with variables within the var section of chapbook, I also use a colon after what I want. So, passage, which passage? Something with another passage with that exact name. Which, if we look, I have a passage called another passage. It has as its content, this is another passage, which is a helpful message. Coming back to untitled passage, we see then, I do embed what I want it to do, what type of insert, what do I want it to embed? I want it to embed a passage, which passage, the name of that passage. The second example I want to talk about is using link, which is another example of an insert. Notice embed and link look a very similar pattern. I want a link. Where do I want to link to? I want to link it to the passage house in quotations. And I want to give it the label, notice, comma, label. What is the label? The label is the house. So when we see this link, it is a link to another passage, to house, with the label, the house. Let's test this. Down here, if I use the test option, we see this is another passage, which is the content of another passage being embedded here. So we used embed, passage, and then the name of that passage, then we see the text, the house. This is the label we set using the link insert. A link to where? To the passage house with what label? The house. If I click on the house, we see the content of house, which is true. If I move back a tab, house. That's its content. So using these two inserts, I was able to insert text or insert anything. The first of which I discussed was embed. What are we embedding? Another passage. What passage? That name in quotation marks, right? Another passage, its exact name. I want to create a link, right? This is another insert. Where I want the link to? I want the link to house, again in quotations, comma, what label do I want? The label, the house, which is what I have right here, right? Two examples of inserts within chapbook. I want to insert text or insert anything, I use inserts. An example of this video, embed, embed what? A passage, which passage? The name of that passage. I'm gonna create a link, a link to where? A link to house with what label? Label the house. Notice of course that passage, to, and label follow the same format as the vars section within variables. So we're establishing passage, its value to its value, label its value as well. Following the same model from the var section into now using inserts, which follow the same pattern and work in a similar way when also inserting something within chapbook. Thanks for watching. 